so in continuation of the general themes which will help with um, soft tissue regeneration, we'd be looking at um, getting getting people to drink sort of um, homemade green tea. Uh, <clears throat> you, you wouldn't at this stage, at the initial stage of inflammation, be taking like green tea, green tea extract capsules or any any kind of standardised high dose green tea extract because that that can actually slow down uh, the making of new new red blood cells. That's obviously not something you want when you want a rapid healing. Um, but drinking a, f a few cups of green tea would be absolutely fine. Um, you'd be looking at um, brewing up the chicken soup, so the, the the old bone broth. That would be first on the menu. That's pretty much better than any any um, joint, ligament, or tendon supplement, being that it's got all the components, uh, all the natural collagen, the natural bone matrix, um, minerals, uh, amino acids, and, and all the things that your body needs to rebuild and repair quite quickly. Plus, plus lightly immune benefits from drinking uh, homemade, uh, freshly made chicken soup. So, so we'd be doing that. If it's hot, um, be it would make a lot of sense to get out um, and get a good dose of vitamin D. So, so uh, an hour front, hour back, tan without burning to to supercharge vitamin vitamin D level D levels in the body, and then you know interviewing. Uh, reiterating the right calorie balance. Um, the calories obviously need to come down, but what you don't want is an excessive deficit. Because obviously, if you start starving someone when they're trying to rebuild and repair their body, then uh, all that's going to happen then is you're going to slow down the healing process. So you, you just drop it down to what they need for general um, maintenance uh, calories, plus a little bit for any rehab that they're able to do at that stage. So and then, and then once that's all happened, you know, and all that can occur in the first uh, one to three days uh, of soft t soft tissue injury, and then after that, what you can look to do is um, go in with some uh, different supplements. So for for muscle bruising, one of the best supplements to clear the bruising quickly would be um, the proteolytic enzymes or protein breakdown enzymes, things like bromelain. That's been shown to be really good at um, easing that kind of excessive deep, deep, deep tissue um, swelling and bruising quite quickly. So you, you could eat um, lots of fresh pineapple. It, it occurs naturally in the core of the pineapple. So it's not this fleshy sweet bit. It's the, it's the chewy bit that gets stuck in your teeth. So you can eat, you know, obviously eat a bit of the sweet stuff, but focus on the core to get a good dose of bromelain. You can buy bromelain supplements, and you can you can buy good enzyme uh, complex supplements, which can can be used with good um, good success at that stage. And then and then in the absence of um, sufficient oily fish consumption, then you could be thinking about an an increase in um, omega three fats. So one of the things omega three fats do is they're very good at uh, counteracting excessive inflammation. So you, whilst you want some inflammation, what you don't want is chronic and prolonged uh, and aggressive systemic inflammation. So we want to, after the initial phase, we want to bring that down to normal levels, normalize inflammation without uh, uh, quenching that inflammation too much. So taking two to three grams of EPA as a good mixed fish oil supplement with, with um uh, balanced EPA and DHA mix would be a really good idea at that stage as well. So yeah, so and looking in more detail around flavonoids, ginger, turmeric, all the spices, paprika, chili, building on the back of the anti-inflammatory diet, wheeling out the uh, chicken soup, proteolytic enzymes, pineapple core, and then picking those fish oils up nicely to two, two to three grams. That those, those would be great protocols. That's the, you, although we're speaking specifically about soft tissue, that would also be very useful for for both uh, both the other sets of injury as well, the the, the tendon, ligaments, and also the bone-based injury as well.